Whoa, check out this view. It's so beautiful. I love this bridge over the water. Hey, look at that. Look how beautiful the water is. This is such a fun ride. Oh my god, it looks so good. I can't wait to eat this. Good morning, everybody. Did you sleep well? I think I did. I feel great today. Ah, what a beautiful morning. Mornings are always nice. Because it's not hot yet. Like I said, Okinawa has been really hot this time around. But right now, it's, uh, it's quite perfect, really. Today we're going to be driving over to that side of the island, over there, and I think down here. So we're about to eat some breakfast. Uh, this morning we're going to be eating some things that we bought yesterday. So I got my cup of tea. This is a uh, mango. I think we mentioned it already. It's mango season in Okinawa right now, and this is these are local mini mangoes that we got. That's the price, fifteen hundred yen. It's not bad for the amount of mangoes we got. That's what it looks like, and the lady, the clerk. Assured us that these are ready to be eaten. Yeah, it looks good, doesn't it? And then we have this. This is a uh, Okinawan sweets called popo, so we'll eat that. And then we'll eat this. This is something called makigan. So these are these two are traditional Okinawan sweets like makigan. I've seen something similar to this in Kanto, but um, I, I'm not sure if they were called makigan, and then popo definitely you don't see this in Tokyo. So let's uh, cut one open, shall we? The plastic knife that the lady gave us. Hmm, how does one go about cutting a mango? Do it Okay. Okay. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Peels off very easily. The skin is actually very, very thin compared to like full size mangoes. Oh, quite easy to peel off. Maybe I should just peel a big one. Okay, I'm gonna peel all the apples first, I think. Apples, mangoes, I meant mangoes. I have peeled all the mangoes. That took a that took a good five minutes, I think. Okay, I'm gonna start off with some. I'm gonna try one of the smaller ones. Mmm, oh. sweet. I've never eaten a bangle like this. Mmm. Kind of like eating a gigantic kumquat. Hold it. How is it? All right, no comment from the man. Mm. Mm. Don't talk to me. I'm in heaven. You're in heaven. Mm. The seed is really, really thin and very small. There's a lot of flesh on this mango. Oh, that's delicious. Okay, so this is popo. Um, I just uh tore it in half before showing it to you, sorry. But um, it's, it's, it's a traditional Okinawan snack, I guess, or sweet. Um, made with flour, eggs, and brown sugar. Mmm. 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 It's like a, um... It's like a pancake, actually. Yeah, like a pancake with a hint of brown sugar. It's nice, it's like a perfect breakfast food actually. This is like the perfect hotel for us because 
Number one, you can see the ocean from the room like this. So it's nice and it's very relaxing. And it was very reasonable. It's like around a hundred dollars or like Ichiman Niseyem per night. And that's perfect for us because you know we're hardly in the room, we're here only to sleep. And um, you know, we're out filming all day, so it makes no sense to stay in a luxury hotel, you know. There is a really beautiful, luxurious, expensive hotel right across the right across this lagoon called uh, Busena Terasu, and we've actually stayed there before, like way before YouTube days. And it was it was nice. It was nice, but you know, it was worth it for us at that time because we we stayed at the resort pretty much all day. Uh, we left to have a meal, I think, at. Um, dinner time and I, I think we went to see some I think we went driving somewhere but you know not not too far and we pretty much just kind of stayed in the resort and uh, went to the beach uh, lounged by the pool and it was it was it was fantastic <laughs> and there's also a Ritz Carlton that was uh, recently built um, right behind this hotel you can see it on the mountain top and there's also Halukulani Hotel as well on Okinawa now. Lots of lux luxury resorts that have been built over the years. And Satoshi and I were saying, you know, we we should come back, you know, j just to stay at the resort, you know, and relax next time, you know, without filming. I think that would be nice. So let's go to Hawaii. This is Okinawa. Yeah. We're in Okinawa. We are going to go Hawaii. Oh, that's right. We're going to a place called Hawaii Drive-In. Yes. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Thank you so much for the good memories. Beautiful place. So we just filming at the uh, Hawaii drive-in and food was really good but it was so much and it's still before noon and I am ready to take a long nap. So full from that meal but so good and the couple here so sweet. Um, this video is coming up on Tabi Eats of course. It's gonna be our um, drive-in videos drive-in video uh, this video is going to be consisting of this place Hawaii drive-in the seaside drive-in Jackie Steakhouse and and that's it hey right? oh no no and Jeff that's right Jeff the price was extremely reasonable uh, the couple here is such a sweet couple you know they've never been to Hawaii but they want to and they say they're working really hard to save up so that they can go one day sweet sweet couple the guy is father started the restaurant originally in 1976 and he actually went to Hawaii to learn how to grow pineapple and sugarcane I believe to help him support support himself while he was there he worked at a restaurant there and when he came back uh, he wanted to uh, open a restaurant by himself he was inspired by Rainbow's Drive-In so this is going to be a pretty long drive, um, over an hour I think, and well, you know, it's nice. Um, gives me a chance, gives us a chance to just sit back and relax. Well, Satoshi does have to drive. And me, I just kind of sit back and <laughs> sleep if I want, but this is really, really nice. I, I, I like seeing the palm trees, the banana trees, sugar cane so different from mainland Japan where you see mostly rice fields 
kind of makes me think about Hawaii. And you know, Satoshi and I, we, we have been thinking about going back to Hawaii this year. We mostly likely will. But you know, so expensive compared to Okinawa. And I think we spend maybe one third the amount here in Okinawa compared to Hawaii. So we do wonder, should we just come back to Okinawa? Hopefully the exchange rate is better for us uh, when we do go to Hawaii. Oh, check that out guys. You see that bridge, we're gonna be crossing that bridge real soon. Look at, look how blue, look how blue the color of the ocean is. Okay, we're just about to cross the bridge. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, I, I, I want to like get out of the car right now and just walk along the beach or walk across the bridge. But it's too hot today. Hope you guys find this beautiful as much as we do. Okay, so we're coming to the end of the bridge. This island has beautiful beaches. The island itself is actually a village. Yeah, they have um, people who live there. Of course, there are shops, restaurants, and there are a couple of resorts as well. I hear it's a pretty popular island. Okay, so we decided to stop by this uh, little island called Kodi Island. Here's one part of it. This is where all the fishing boats are. Look how blue the water is here. Yeah, that, that's, that's the mainland over there. So we crossed over that bridge just now. Beautiful water. Yeah. There's a pretty famous beach here. Let's check out the beach. Wow. <laughs> So it's a pretty small beach. So here we came across this bridge here and the beach is right here. It's beautiful. There's white sand. And I think there's another beach on the other side of the bridge. Wow. This is beautiful. Look at this. Yeah, you can pretty much spend the whole day here. Oh, oh there's people out there. It, it seems like it's shallow water. That yeah, looks pretty shallow. I want to get to the other side. Can we, maybe we can take this little road pathway here. Wow, this is cool. Man, it's beautiful. Can you see how blue the water is, guys? So blue. Look at people in the water, it must be really shallow. You know, you see that the, the land, the landmass here is the Yambari area. It's mostly all nature here. This is one place we've never been to. So maybe on our next trip, because I heard that it takes about 
I don't know, like pretty long to get to the end, to the cape at the end of the land. Very interested in checking it out. Skoina. Mm. Yes, I want this one. I want this blue sata adagi. Alright, we got the purple sata adagi and now we're right next to our ice cafe. We're getting watermelon smoothie. This area, Nakijin, is famous for watermelon. This place has this place has its food cart here. There's a store over there selling souvenirs as well as local produce. Here are the food, got the sata dagi there and the watermelon smoothie from there. They even have garlic shrimp and poke bowls. Here's the watermelon smoothie. Wow, look at that. Look at that. That looks amazing. It looks so refreshing. I love suika. The nakijin watermelon is really popular. It's delicious. Mmm, it's watermelon, really watermelon. This is 100% Nakijin watermelon smoothie. Mmm, tasty. Wow, look at this. It's pretty icy and it, it's it's not like your very smooth smoothie, but it's like I think because there are chunks of um watermelon here. Tachimasu. Okay. I can feel the breeze. I can feel this cool breeze. It's so hot right now, guys. But as soon as I took a bite of this, I don't know, the, the breeze feels cooler. Mmm. Mmm. You actually get like bits of watermelon flesh. Oh, so naturally sweet. I feel like there's no sugar in here. Mmm. What's this? The watermelon rind. Do you eat this? I wonder. I wonder if we can eat this. You can eat. It's like cucumber. Mm. Mm. <laughs> More happiness cake. Mm. <laughs> so we're gonna try the purple sata dagi. Yeah. We asked the lady why it's per uh, why it's blue, and she said that's actually the natural color of the uh, red sweet potato. Um, the one that's purple, they actually add um, red sweet potato, a uh, purple sweet potato powder, and that's why it's that color. So this is the natural color. Oh, look at that! It is blue. Looks like the ocean. Wow. Mmm. That's good. Mm. The outside is crispy. The inside is moist and mm -hmm. you can really taste the sweet potato in this one. Mmm. Oh. Oh, that. You see like bits bits of the like the real pieces of the sweet potato. It's just purple right there. Mmm. Not. Mmm. Oh. The sweet potato. Big shell. It's fun. And the sweetness. Just like moist. Outside. Sakato. And I'm. I'm very curious. This color, it's blue or green, yeah, like emerald green, like ocean. Yes, this is a natural color of purple yam. Purple yam color is naturally this color. 
That's interesting. <laughs> oh my god, it is so hot, guys. I don't know if you can see. I am like sweating like an insane person. So right now, I mean, all I can think of is eating this um, watermelon smoothie. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're back in the car and we're gonna drive for about 10 minutes and we will get to our next destination which is the Kouri Tower on Kouri Island. Yeah, that's the name of this island, Kouri Island. And after paying admission, you hop on this self-driving car. It's actually kind of nice. Uh, it's about a 15 minute ride and it's very, very relaxing beautifully landscaped and uh, there's a narrator talking about the island and its history ah, it's so beautiful I'm so happy that the weather is so beautiful today I do wish it was less hot but it's not so bad on the cart I love seeing all the different plants the local plants and flowers so beautiful oh look 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 you can see the ocean now there's the ocean the waters in Okinawa is so so blue I just love it so much oh check it out look how beautiful that is oh yeah this is definitely Something I recommend everyone do. That's the bridge. You guys see the bridge in the distance? That's where we came across. Oh, so, so beautiful. Wow, look at this view. Wow, this is from the observatory and the tower yeah it is a little bit cloudy though still beautiful mm, just love the color of the ocean beautiful how many times did i say beautiful in this video i don't know maybe 10 times at least All right, before we head back home, I want to show you guys the bridge. I want to show you guys the ocean from this side. So this is the view from the um, the other side of the island. Well, from the mainland side. I love the shape of this island. Or would you say it's a rock, not an island? What would you call it? Island? Rock? Hmm. This is so peaceful. Such a peaceful place. I could sit here all day. If it weren't so hot. Okay, so we've hopped back into the car for the long drive back to Naha City. Yes, we're leaving tomorrow, so we booked a hotel just for one night inside the city. Ah, thank you so much, Okinawa, for the wonderful memories. All right, guys, we are back in Naha. We've checked into our hotel. This is our last night here. And um, yeah, we're, we're re exhausted today. <laughs> And I'm not really that hungry and so I think we're just gonna go to the convenience store get something to eat and take it back to the hotel and enjoy it we have a very early flight tomorrow um, can we please come back to Okinawa again of course we can <laughs> please I really want to but you know I, I do want to come back when it's uh, cooler though 
<laughs> I felt like it was really, really hot this time. I don't remember Okinawa being this hot. I died on this trip. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But anyway, thanks guys. Really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for coming along uh, this day trip with us. And we'll see you guys on my next video. See you guys next time. Bye.